We thank you that we have an opportunity today and this week to remember that you are the God of order, that you are the God that raises up nations, that you are the God that raises up men and women to protect the citizens of those nations. And this week of Police Week all across the country and in this city, we, we pause to remember those, those who have fallen, those who have served their cities and municipalities to seek to preserve justice, to seek to preserve order. We pray that you would comfort the families, the colleagues, the friends, those who have fallen. We pray that their labors and their efforts would not be in vain. We pray that you would have mercy upon us, that in times of strife and division, that you would bring healing. We thank you for the men and women who serve so faithfully. We pray for their families, that you would strengthen them, that you would encourage them. We pray that you would return their loved ones to them each day and each night safely. Thank you for this opportunity to remember the faithful, tireless work of these servants. We pray all these things in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'd like to begin by thanking each of you for taking the time from busy schedules to be here today. We have gathered here today on National Police Officers Memorial Day to remember and celebrate the lives and the contributions of the men and women who have lost their lives in the line of duty. In 1962, President Kennedy saw the need to formally recognize the sacrifices that law enforcement officers have made to this country. He proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day and the calendar week in which May 15th falls as National Police Week. National Police Week pays special recognition of those law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty and for the safety and protection of others. If you will keep the family and friends of those officers in your thoughts and prayers this week as we honor them during National Police Memorial Week. I'm going to turn over the podium at this time to Bruce Frazier. Um, he is going to read the National Police Week proclamation as well as the apology of Georgia officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty uh, since the last Police Memorial Day celebration. Thank you. 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 This is a proclamation from uh, Dalton Mayor Dennis Mock. Whereas the President of the United States has designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which May 15th falls as National Police Week, and whereas the members of the law enforcement agency of Dalton play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of our community, unceasingly providing a vital public service, and whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards and sacrifices of their law enforcement agency and that members of our law enforcement agency recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression. Now therefore be it resolved, I, Dennis Mock, Mayor of the City of Dalton, Georgia, hereby call upon all citizens of our community and upon all patriotic civic and educational organizations to observe the week of May 14th through 20th, 2017 as Police Week and to join in commemorating law enforcement officers past and present who, by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities, have rendered a dedicated service to their communities and in so doing have established for themselves an enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. And it is signed by Mayor Dennis Mock with today's date. The Spartan Oath of the Shield first appeared in Richard Lee's book Gates of Fire. It refers to an actual shield used by the Spartans in ancient wars, but it is also reflective of a modern police officer's attitude towards his or her own oath of service and his or her own shield, the badge. It reads, This is my shield. I bear it before me in battle, but it is not my own. It protects my brother on my left. It protects my city. 
I will never let my brother out of its shadow, nor my city from its shelter. I will die with my shield before me, facing the enemy. I will now read the names of the eight Georgia law enforcement officers who gave their lives in the line of duty over the past year since the last Peace Officers Memorial Day in May. Officer Timothy Kevin Smith, Eastman Police Department, end of watch August 13th, 2016. Sergeant Patrick Michael Sondran, Peach County Sheriff's Office, end of watch November 6th, 2016. Deputy Daryl Wayne Smallwood, Peach County Sheriff's Office, end of watch November 8th, 2016. Deputy Justin Scott White, Newton County Sheriff's Office, end of watch November 15th, 2016. Officer Nicholas Ryan Smarr, America's Police Department, end of watch December 7th, 2016. Officer Jody Carl Smith, Georgia Southwestern State University Public Safety, end of watch December 8th, 2016. Sergeant Gregory, Gregory Michael Megger, Richmond County Sheriff's Office, end of watch February 5th, 2017. And Deputy Michael Butler, Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, end of watch February 25th, 2017. We have a moment of silence in their honor. Thank you. Now officers from the Dalton Police Department will present a wreath in honor of fallen law enforcement officers. the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Keep all officers and their families. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, upon those the officers and their families. May he lift up his good countenance upon you and may he grant you all and all of our law enforcement officers and their families his peace. So we go in his peace. This concludes our celebration for this week. Thank you for coming out. Have a good rest of the day.